So hello guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this Vox style explainer animation. Say your car breaks down and the repairs are and this is what we'll be creating. And so to create this kind of animation, first you need a vector image. And to get this, we'll use we'll be going down to free pixelcon to get one. And I'll be using this image right here. So after downloading your image, the first thing we need to do here is that we need to we need to import it into Adobe Illustrator to do some other editing to it. So once you've imported it into Adobe Illustrator, I'll first I'll go down to my artboard. I'll need to change the resolution to 1920 by 1080, which is what I'll be using in After Effects. So once you're in Adobe, go to artboard, then click on in this artboard to click on this icon here and change your resolution. Once you're done, just click OK. Then next, I will select everything. Then hold Shift and move this out so that it covers the entire screen. Then adjust it so that it's over this black line here, which is our, our resolution. So once you've done that, the next thing I'm going to do is that I will want a space just a clear background like this one on the right side here so to do that i'll go down to layer then go down so that i can find i'll delete this rectangle here so that you can see some of the layers here so i'm just going to move some of this building to the side here so that i can create a space here so i'll just have to find this building okay it's already selected so select the building and move it to the side make sure you align it properly so once you're satisfied with what you have all you need to do is save it as adobe illustrator file so i'm just going to name this make sure you go down and select adobe illustrator i'm going to name this suburb then click save so inside of after effects first we'll create a new composition 1920 by 1080 then import our our image here import it as a footage and not a composition then drag it down to our timeline then i'm just going to extend this to six seconds here six seconds then i'll bring up my position and don't forget to click on this icon here for continuous rasterization i'm going to move this over to the side then duplicate this layer by pressing ctrl d then bring up the position for that then move this one to the side so i'm just typing number to make it faster then adjust it make sure you adjust it so that there's no gap between the both of them and this is okay so the next thing we're going to do i'm just going to quickly close this and bring in a new no layer create a new null layer so I'll select these both maps here and parent them to our no, our no layer here. So bring up the position for your no layer. At the beginning of our timeline, I'm going to click on this keyframe here. Then move the position of the boats to the beginning here. Then go down to six seconds, six, uh, six seconds. Then move my position back, move it to the other side. So once you've moved it to the other edge, I'll just quickly play this through for us to see what we have. So first, in around six seconds, I'm going to press N to mark that to make that the end of our timeline. Then I'm just going to play this through, and now you see you see that we have a nice looping animation. See that it's perfect. So after that, the next thing we're going to do is that I have this car image, a vector image here that I've separated the main car and the back tire and the front tire so i'll just quickly import that into after effects too so here it is i'm but this for this i'll import it as a as a composition and, and press ok bring this down to the top of of our image here i won't worry about this scaling yet i'll just double click and open this up then first the main thing we're going to be working out working with is the tires so for this tire, i'm just going to open the rotation then hold alt and click on this keyframe here and i'll add a simple expression time asterisk 
then 200 i'll copy this and add it to, to this one to do the same thing here and don't forget to click here for continuous rasterization so once you play through you see our tires rolling like this then once we go back to our main composition we'll try to align this to the to the ground i'm just going to scale this down to maybe 39 then reposition it i think this is okay then move it back a bit play it back you see we have this nice animation this loop animation and it feels like our car is moving meanwhile it's just an illusion because we just animated the background and this is basically what you need to do for an um, explainer animation the next thing we need to do is just add other which i won't really do i don't want this video to really take much time so you can add in other elements to this to make it come more alive like you saw in the beginning of our video so that will just be your challenge to do it it's really easy to do just add other elements and animate it and thank you for watching so if this was helpful please kindly subscribe to my channel and 